Dr. Colleen Kraft. She is the Associate Chief Medical Officer at Emory University Hospital and an Associate Professor who focuses on infectious diseases and pathology. Dr. Kraft, good morning. Great to see you. We appreciate you joining us this morning. So let's take a look at the numbers. We have hit 50,000 cases multiple times this week alone, surpassing some of the highs that we saw even in April and May. We're seeing some states scale back their reopening. So how crucial is it to stay vigilant this holiday weekend so that we don't see another surge in cases? Yeah, it is absolutely crucial to stay vigilant. We are no longer even talking about flattening the curve. We just don't want it to look like a ski slope. And so this is really um, becoming more and more dramatic. And it's really important for individuals to take personal responsibility to do what they can to protect themselves and others. Doctor, let me ask you if I can right now. I want to put up another graphic. This one's dramatic. And here's another one that shows you the United States. And you can see the reds and the oranges there. Mm. Those show the places, and the yellows as well, where the cases have been growing, rising in the last 14 days. A lot of cities, some counties have been revisiting their requirements as it relates to masks. How effective are masks, particularly for people who are going to be outside this holiday? Masks are a critical piece and a simple piece of protecting yourselves and others against the, this virus transmission. So as it compares to doing nothing about it, I think masks are actually quite effective. There's been a number of studies that show how, how much it decreases the spread from your mouth outward um, by just simply wearing any type of mask. And Dr. Kraft, while cases are on the rise, we haven't necessarily seen the same spike in deaths. Are we learning more about this disease and what is that? Right, so that's a mixture of not only having, um, you can, I think what's happening there is that the medically fragile have really gotten the message that they need to stay home and isolate. So we're seeing a lot of spread among healthy young individuals. And so you can see that the hospitalizations and therefore the deaths are actually going down, but that doesn't mean that the virus transmission is stopping as you've already seen it in the graph that you just showed. So it's really the, the lack of medically fragile people that are getting ill, which is good for healthcare systems. But in general, eventually this is going to um, crush the healthcare system at the current rate. Really important information as we head into the holiday weekend. Dr. Colleen Kraft, thank you so much.